this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to adjust uh, what I call the mood lighting, which is we're going to apply an adjustment layer, which is called the gradient map, and that is able to adjust the the color the, of the of the of the light of uh, of images. So it's great for images like sunsets that have a lot of intensity of light and really nice um, intense colors. So we're going to go ahead and see how that works. Right. So here we have a nice sort of like a sunset silhouette type of image. And what we can do here is just make it a little bit more dramatic. So for example, we can target here the colors so that the 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 color of the light changes. So right now we have the, the the sky here being blue and we can change it to more of a like a dramatic purple, for example. Here we can bring in more of the yellow here and bring in some some red into the darker tones here to make it a little bit more dramatic. So how do we do this? Right. We bring up our layers palette and like I said it's an adjustment layer. So we go into our adjustment layers here and we go ahead and select here gradient map. Now I know you've uh, used quite a few of the other um, adjustment layers. Gradient map is probably a new one here for you. And uh, the way that it works, we're going to click on it, is uh, it applies everything that is dark. It's applying the color of the gradient here, black, because we have a foreground color here being black and white. Um, so it just uses that by default. Now what we can do, I'll just show you how it works here by selecting a clearly different uh, color scheme here. So I'm going to select red and green. And like I said, everything that was dark, uh, so everything that was black is now being applied to to uh, red. And everything that was lighter, like the sky, is being applied to green. So you can quite drastically change the color of things by assigning different colors. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, click here in our uh, gradient uh, editor here. And uh, what we can do here, like I said, is we can target different areas. So like I said, we wanted the sky to be like... Um, like a purple, for example, which was blue. So what we can do here is we can change the colors, and we do that by double-clicking here um, on the bottom arrow. So I'm going to change the color of the green here, or whichever one we were at to the presets. I'm just going to double-click here. And now we're going to uh, select sort of like a nice purple. And you can see that we have the sky is uh, turning purple at the moment, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, click OK on that side of the scheme here. And then we're going to go here into our black, double-click on it. And I think we're going to bring in some reds here, so something like this. So we're applying some red into the color and uh, into the dark, darker areas, and we're applying some purple to the lighter areas. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, and uh, click OK here several times. OK, now, obviously this is a bit too much, but what we can do here is just gradate things a little bit more, so just make them a little bit more subtle. First thing we can do here is change the, uh, um, the, uh, the mode here to overlay. And that will just apply just the colors uh, and taking into effect the, the lighting situation. So, for example, here is quite lighter than here. Then when we apply overlay, we're just changing the colors and not applying the color um, as, as, as it is, you know, at, at face value here. It's just applying it all at once, for example. Here in uh, overlay, which is a good mode, mode to use for this, for this technique, is uh, to, to apply the overlay so that we have a little bit more of the subtleties and we're just targeting the colors themselves. And the other thing is this is also quite too saturated. We want to scale this back to probably around an opacity of 50% or 40%. It depends on how subtle you want the colors to be. But as you can see here, now this kind of just makes a world of a difference because now what I've done is made the sky you know, more purple, brought in some reds, and we can do a before and an after here. And once you have something set like this, we've we've got basically an overlay, and we got 50%. Then you can go back in here and fine tune if you like. So you can double click on it, and uh, of course click in the middle here of your gradient, and then you can just pay attention, of course, to the two things that you've been doing. You can target the lighter colors and the darker colors. So for the darker colors, you can see here we're having black here, uh, red. And uh, what we can do here is then just change the colors if you like, and you can see the effect of changing that color. So something like a a green and a blue uh, changes the the tone of the of the image to more of like a, a cooler tone. Now it kind of seems like it's maybe like a little bit colder outside, whereas with the red, it gets a little bit warmer. So it seems like maybe the temperature was a bit warmer and it's you know it's cooling down, but it's still nice and warm. So it's quite powerful what you can do with uh, changing the color of lighting because you get a completely different sensation to the uh, to, to the mood of the uh, of of the photo itself. So again, here with the purple, we can change the color of it, and uh, you know, change the color of the sky and so forth. So it's up to you what you'd uh, what you'd like to do. You can uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm going to leave here on the purple. I think the, the, the combination of the purple and the red works really well. Uh, it depends also on the image that you're using. So I uh, encourage you to experiment. And like I said, it's great for really intense colors. So Sunset is a, is a prime example. And there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.